the s- the some of you. He's put an incredible amount of work in, but it's all come down to a vision and a dream that he held for many years. And it just shows if you look around what's possible when you hold on to your vision, when you hold on to your dream, when you do things with good intentions, when you bring together the right people, and when you bring together fruit, fruit just attracts the right people together. And you're going to find out that in the next few days. I wanted to introduce to you the visionary founder of the Canada Food Festival, Ted Carr. Woo! Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for coming. Like Ronnie said, some of you probably maybe quit your jobs or left your family. Did we get to do to get here? We really, really appreciate you uh, just coming with no excuses. No excuses. All of us, we could have had so many excuses not to come. I had so many reasons not to put this event on. Ryan had so many reasons not to, not to uh, join forces with me and help me put this event on. John Kohler didn't need to come. Constantino didn't need to come. Holly didn't need to come on board. Nick Dudley definitely didn't need to come, but he's like, I'm coming, man, no matter what, I'll be there. So many people here came last minute. Check, 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 check one, two. It's not that spicy. It's super spicy. Yes, it is. Not that spicy. Stop lying. <laughs> I, I, I found the already. Hey, one, two, one, two, check. Hey, hey, one, two, hey, the fuck. I kind of have a crazy headache today, probably from the smoky air. So I wanted to keep it casual. Of my talks this week will most likely have a more planned format. So, hopefully, that's cool with all of you. Um, I figured I <laughs> would start by sharing my story for anybody who does not know who I am. Uh, my name is Elise, and everything that I have created really began with the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Um, I think it was five years ago at this point. And, um, back... What are you doing? I'm doing a video. <laughs> I love how that's going to be in the video. I know, right? <laughs> Believe that you can. That is something really important because I think um, a lot of people can go through this where you want to put out something out on social media but you think about it too much. Like it needs to be perfect or like what, what are people gonna think about it or is it gonna get exposure? Are people gonna like it? Are people gonna uh, like, how are they gonna react to it? And then you just become so perfectionist and you wanna do it like exactly right that you don't end up putting out anything and you don't wanna go through that either because you know, in that moment, or you might be comparing yourself to another, another person who is like, doing all these things that you want to do in the future, but you don't know where they are. Like, you have to really just realize where you are right now and accept it and know that you can already give out something very purposeful and very positive and make a great impact in someone else's life. So believe in, this, in yourself and believe that you have a mission, that you were born here with a mission and with a purpose and that you're gonna, even if it's one person, right? Like that's, that's all, I, I still think about that. Like So right now, guess where I'm at? Where are you at? I'm in Ted Carr's car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're here at oh the Canada God. Fruit Fest. Canada Fruit Fest! <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. And go on the day. Oh, he asked me to go. <laughs> he literally asked me to go to the store to get some change. And I was like, well, I don't have a car. And he was like, just use mine. And I was like, okay. So we're in Ted Carr's car going to the store right now. Here we go. Just want to give you that little update. <laughs> okay, fine. Sweet, but I'm 
Trying to learn just what I need So I can finally walk on my own feet Without needing your blessing I keep watching